Would ya look at the time? It's time for another video. Good day to you, my fellow adventurers throughout time and space. It is I, the Cowardly Time Lord, welcoming you back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I did a little bit more research in between videos and found out I actually wanted to be here, for this is the bomb forest. Eh, just remembered something. So now, let's hope I run and I run into the enemy I'm wanting to find sooner rather than later. This is the bomb forest. And apparently here I can run into an enemy that I have not encountered yet. Wait, what did I learn? Who learned what now? I don't know, I thought it said somebody learned something. So I'm going to pause real quick while I look for the enemy that I'm trying to find. Okay, I seriously don't know what's going on. I cannot seem to find this enemy that is supposed to be in this forest. It's supposed to be like a grenade or something? Or a baton? No, not a baton. Definitely it's a baton. Finally found it! Oh no. Well, that was good timing. You know what, that's gonna be our next one to work on. So I finally got the, um, grenade. Um. And that should be a new, um, entry into my bestiary. Anyways, I'm going to show you what 97 is on the list. <laughs> that does not mean I'm fighting it. That means I'm showing it and running away. Okay. Before I make any moves... I'm going to save to file one. Do, 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 do. The Intanger. Okay, how do you run in this game again? The Intanger. Hmm. I don't think just encountering it adds it to the B-Series list. Nope. I'm not fighting the Intanger. I mean, I say that, but equally I will. I will and I won't fight the Intanger. What I mean by that, you'll just have to wait and see. Anyways, before continuing on, I'm going to buy the best possible equipment for everyone.
Why? Because, well, now will come a point in time when I need the best equipment for everyone. So... One, two, three, four. Four of those, right? Four of those. Okay. Kapa kapow. So let's just do the next characters on the list. I don't currently have. Any these these are the four I was just using. I know this is, seems confusing, but I do have my reason for doing this. Also, I know I won't be using a lot of these characters for a long ass time, so it doesn't really make sense why I'm doing this. I, I just want to, more so than anything, get them all having the best equipment they can have for this part of the game. I was just say, sitting here playing games, I'm thinking of an extra strategy. Yes.
So the gambler and mog. Yeah, there was really no reason to do this. But, hey, at least... I traveled around the world, too, in my younger days. Okay. So, I need to select my party for the next part of the game. <laughs> right, yes. Yes, this is the party I want. <laughs> I was just trying to think of that. Anyways, yes, let's unquip. You know what? Let's just do all members. I know that just completely defeats the purpose of what I did. I just realized I forgot to can Oh, right, these shadows are in the party currently. Right! <laughs> okay, you work on Shiva. You were working on... Ramu, you were working on Phantom. Well, I say I'm finally ready to head to the floating continent. Head to the floating continent. All right, let's find a way onto that thing. Form a party of three, everyone else below deck. You know what, I'm gonna try having my phone plugged in. Actually, what am I doing? This is the best way to do it. Oh, I should check and make sure everyone's in the right row. Oh, too late. Come on. Uh oh, it's the Imperial Air Force. They've got us surrounded. We're going to have to engage them. So everyone's in the right row. You are a healer now, Albert. Yay! 
an instant kill chainsaw. Where he goes all Jason Voorhees on him. I actually find it rather creative that they put like a whole enemy rush before getting to the next area. Like, this is the way that you prove that you're ready to be able to get to the next part. You have to win all these fights. Shoot, I just realized. I forgot to relic them. I bet someone was already screaming at me in the comments that I forgot to relic them! Now the fight should be a little bit easier. And now we're getting into the first boss fight of this thing. I did, in fact, just say first boss fight. So, we're still working on Ramu. I think you just finished up Phantom. Let's see, what else do you have to even learn? Could put him under Ifrit. So it's either Ifrit, Unicorn, or Carbuncle. I'm going with Ifrit. Oh no! Strange looking creature. Wait a minute. 
Raspin' Osmond. What other Esper has Raspin' Osmond? Sure. Hello, Ultros. No, really? This is our last battle. Honest! <sighs> Looks like I lose again. But today I brought a buddy of mine, Mr. Typhoon! Come on down! <laughs> He's not so great with words, but his strength will blow you away! <laughs> No! And that knocks us into the real boss fight. I know you're probably tired of seeing Raging Fist, but that's really the only one I can pull off with any amount of accuracy. Flash! Ah! Oh. Savior of the universe. Just head up, Kefka, Gestal, in the Warring Triad. Is that Shadow? Filthy double-crossing empire. Tried to off me the second I had served my purpose. Shadow, we thought you were dead. Is Interceptor all right? He's fine, come on, let's go. Just leave me here. Sorry, that's not happening. Eh. Sorry, buddy, but you're getting relics that make it so that... I should have just done the relics first. 
Um, what else should he have? I guess a hyper wrist? No, I should have, um... Oh shoot, I forgot to go somewhere and do something. I guess the Zephyr Cloak is good for now. Yeah, you know what, that's good. And the reason why I'm not going to give Shadow an Esper is later in the game he just does so much better if you don't bother with the Esper thing. Oh, this... Ugh, these enemies. Oh, shoot, and I forgot to bring Locke. Oh, that's probably not... Oh. Right, and I forgot, you don't want the Assassin's Dagger because... Shoot. And fire, will that heal that? No, that didn't. Okay. I gotta have him defend because he's got the Assassin's Dagger. These are undead enemies here, and yeah, the assassin's dagger is an instant kill. I knew I forgot something. You know what? That's that's pretty good. I forgot that the, um, the ability to steal around here is very important. How did I forget that, you may ask? Well, it didn't really cross my mind. Let's see how you do against ninjas, Shadow. No! Yeah, the fights here get pretty difficult. Well, this dungeon does mark the uh, halfway point in the game. And that was Murasame, which I believe... Yeah. Finally be able to see what Shadow does now. I mean, that's not bad. No. The enemies around here are just so No. Oh, 
I better not have anyone that's a level of multiple of five. Oh. They do. Because when I say Shadow will become the strongest character in the party, later. That one was admittedly my fault. Now this treasure is guarded by a powerful monster. Gigantos? Kongle, what are you doing here? Uncle, stop it! You're too powerful for this game! No! Well, I miss out on a heaping hope of. A heaping hope of. A heaping hope of! A heaping help of experience. Blade thought to have belonged to a famous ninja. Well, I want to keep the thieves knife. If I run into a specific enemy, I'll probably at some point next episode leave the floating continent switch lock in to try and steal from a very particular enemy that's around here that will definitely be worth it to I don't know no. it'll definitely be worth it to fight Really?
Yeah, unfortunately that enemy has that ability. Yes, and don't worry, there will be a way to get off the flowing continent, because there's an enemy around here, a very particular enemy, that if you steal from it, you can get Genji Gloves. Yeah, you heard that correctly, Genji Gloves. Also, no, I will not go my entire playthrough without Shadow getting some magic. Eventually, very late in the game, I will give him some amount of magic. Just no time soon. Also, that Intanger enemy that I faced earlier this episode, that, well, I didn't really face it. Anyways, th that Intanger enemy, I always thought it was like a play on the term Intinger. Like, an int Intinger. Like, it, not, I didn't think of Intangible, I thought of it as an in. I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm, I don't think I can enunciate properly. The what I'm trying to say. The what I'm trying to say. Good England. Just good England.
Hmm. Right, Grace. Okay. Okay, so Golem. Okay, so I went, which side did I end up going? Okay, so what's down the opposite one? This one. Was there nothing here? I already forgot. Whatever, it won't take long to check. Wow, she turned it to stone. Okay, nothing there. She just she tried to use level 4 flare, luckily. Um, not a multiple of the level 4. I hate enemies with attacks that are based on level in this game, like level 5 death! Mostly because level 5, I think it was like level 5 death led me to a, um... An entire party KO at one point. Okay, I know there's a save point coming up here pretty soon. I love that much. Just gonna grab this treasure real quick. King Barry.
But right, but Ray is not actually a piece of oh it is. But it's unique to her. Right. Great. Anyways. Down in this hole is a save point. Oh dear. Well, I've had fun here so far. <laughs> anyway, well, how'd you know? Let's quickly go to the beastery. Guy mm. mm. armor, Spitfire, Brain Pan, Mr. T. Apocrypha. Oop. Behemoth. So apparently I missed two enemies between Apocrypha and a Behemoth, huh? Well, as much as I should probably use a tent, I'm not going for the final boss of this area in this run because I forgot lock. I forgot lock so he could steal. I forgot lock coal so he could steal from the enemies. So. This looks like a good place to sign off for today's episode. So, this is the Cowardly Time Lord signing off and saying, Have a good day. Or whatever time it is, wherever you are. Bye bye now.